Have you seen anything of Muggs, Mr. Greenblatt? No, and if I don't never see him again, it will still be too quick. Oh, prejudice, huh? That's what I'm going to tell my mother not to buy any more of your butter, if you get some. Come on, we're not going to find Muggs standing here. Let's go. Hey, you got any eggs? Maybe he's in there. Yeah. What do you want me to do? You hoodlums. Lose my license? No man is allowed. Stay out before I throw you out. Oh, I forgot. I already threw you out. Laying down a job, huh? Get up out of there. Have you seen him anyplace? No. Man, he must be around here somewhere. Yeah, his mother said he left home an hour ago. Hey, maybe some Nazi captured him, huh? If they did, I bet they wish they hadn't. Say, fellas, look at here. We got visitors. The Cherry Street Gang. I'll see you later, fellas. Come here. There they are now, fellas. Let's go. Come on. Where are you going? Who wants to know? I want to know. I'm telling you what. Hey, Why you. Don't you? Hey, I dare you to knock this off my shoulder. I dare you, I dare you. Go ahead. Daring, isn't it? Hey, you guys. No rough stuff, no rough stuff. You cherry streeters, go on back to your own neighborhood now. Go on. It's OK, Flanagan. There ain't going to be no rough stuff. Not if we find mugs, anyway. You looking for him, too? Yeah, where is he? That's what we'd like to know. I'm looking for him myself. I wish I could lay my hands on him. Me too, me too. I'll murder him, I'll murder him. Well, if we find him first, we'll save a little piece for you. Come on, gang. I wouldn't want to be in Muggsy's shoes. I don't blame you with those sides 12 collabs you got there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Muggs is around here somewhere, so keep your eyes peeled for him. Don't get so fresh with your feet. He ain't in there. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, Mark! He's not there. Well, we've looked just about every place we can look. Hey, maybe he took my advice and went to see Dr. Bloom at the dentist. I don't know how, but he sure disappeared. And he went, went from nowhere. I don't God. understand. Hey, fellas, look! Come on. Uh-oh. Hello, Flanagan. Goodbye, Flanagan. Probably hurt me more than it'll hurt you. Yeah, but not in the same place. Wait. Hold. <laughs> One, oh. two, oh. three, oh. four, five, six, seven. Oh. Oh. Two. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. <laughs> not only mutiny, it's Barry and assault. Congratulations, Muggs. Today you're a man. Sure, now you're in the draft. Bust your head open, young man. Oh, what are you getting sore about? What are you getting sore about? I wish it was my birthday. You do? Well, we can fix that up. Sure, Ben, do sure. I was only kidding. I was only kidding. Why don't I keep my big mouth shut? It's a good idea. When you learn to keep your mouth shut and use your brains a little, you might improve. You might get someplace. Like me. Yes, Chief. Now, if you guys are through playing kid games, let's hit the breeze. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, look. Go on, Bugs. How you like that? Swell, huh? Okay, fellas. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! That's enough! That's enough! Speech! Speech! Yeah. Speech! Yeah. Speech! Yeah. Speech. Yeah. Speech. Yeah. Speech. Yeah. Speech.
Speech. Well, I... Speech. 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 Exactly Speech. Was... Speech. Well, accustomed as I am to making those speeches, a thing like this leaves me kind of wordless. Makes me realize how much I ignored my vocabulation when I was a kid. There's only one thing I can say, and that is you're a swell bunch of rats and you shouldn't have done this. Hey! Hey, Mark, look at those presents. Yeah, here you go. Swell bunch of tools. What is it? It's a, it's a manicure set, in case you get sick. Manicure, you dope. Manicure. That's what I said, that's what I said. Yeah, to cut your nails with. Oh, that's swell. Now I won't have to wreck my mother's scissors no more. Hey, get a load of this, Muggs. Yeah, yeah, one name of uh, reverberator. Yeah, it's pretty right. hard to get now, too. Yeah, yeah plug it in, plug it in. Yeah. Right. Looks like an electric razor. Nah, I'll show you. You put it here, you put it there, makes you feel good all over. Try it. Oh, no, thanks. I got shaken up enough this morning. Feed me, Daddy. Eat to the boys. If it wasn't my birthday, I'd belt you with this thing. If you do that, you'll do it all year round. Muggs, throw your lip over that. A genuine B-flat bugle. That's a beaut. Why'd you get me a flat one? Ginsburg was a lot of the other kind. Say, when you get in the draft, maybe they let you be the bugler. Maybe, huh? Oh, he can't do that. He don't get up that early. Hey, uh, hey, Mugs, play something up. How does taps go? Get it! When I play music, I only need one leader. Tell me how taps goes. Da da da. You pick things up easy, don't you? I bet he's in there. Come on. Is you gonna invite us to your party? I would invite you slugs to my wake. Now blow. Okay, you asked for it. Come on, fellas. Hey, Danny! Flippy! Hey, what kind of double thrust is this? You bet they remember, Muggs? Oh, well, that's different. Did you bring me a present? Yeah, we brought you some presents. Come on, fellas. Hey, where are you going? Ha <laughs> ha! Can't you count? You didn't have to be so enthusiastic about it. Well, I'm happy today. Well, maybe this will make you feel a little happier. Keep it to yourself. As the head of this house, I should know all these problems. Come on, give. Read that. <coughs> Dear Molly, enclosed is a check for Ethel Bates. Ethel Bates. Ethel Bates' birthday. Is he 14 or fi Enclosed is a check. In the dish, in the dish. Wow, 50 clams. 
That's a lot of potato chips and beer. They said, Uncle Peter's all right. He must really be loaded. Hey, Ma, you take us and buy yourself that new coat you've been needing so bad. You know, the one in Grassburg's window? What's the matter, Ma? Didn't you hear me? Read the rest. Even though I have been able to re... re murderous handwriting, remember their birthdays pretty well for the last 15 years, I can't keep track of all your children's ages. All your children's ages? Oh, Ma, you've been holding out on me. It's a long story, Ethelbert. Go ahead and read the letter first. They must be pretty grown up by now. All seven of them. I bet your little Annabella is pretty. If she takes after her mother, she must be. Annabelle? Hey, what is this? Did Uncle Pete ever have hallucinations? No, Ethelbert. Well, I don't get it. Please quit calling me Ethelbert. Sit down, son. No, thanks. You sit down. Well, you see, your Uncle Pete isn't really your uncle. No? No. He and your father were the two best bricklayers in Local 17 before we were married. Well, what happened to Uncle Pete? Well, he went out west. He heard they were punching cattle out there, and so he wanted to take a crack at it. That was 20 years ago. I guess he's still out there yet. What's all this got to do with having seven kids? Well, you know what a bluffer and a bolster your father was. He could exaggerate a little. Well, every year or so after we were married, he'd write Pete and tell him we had another child. <laughs> when he got up to seven, I made him quit. So that's where Uncle Pete got his idea. I wanted to write your Uncle Pete for the last five years and tell him the whole truth. But I didn't want to make a liar out of your father. Oh, forget it, Ma. I still don't see what you're so upset about. Read the last page of that letter. I am in Chicago on a big cattle deal, so I'll drop over and see you all right soon. I want your kids to meet my little gal, Judy, and my horse, Lightning. As for yours, oh, oh as ever yours, Pete. Well, I guess you won't have to tell him now. He's going to find out for himself. Yes, and the worst of it is he's been sending birthday checks to all seven of you for the last 15 years. Sending checks for 15 years? Well, that puts a different surface on things. Now, Pop, I always knew you was a good pool shooter, but I didn't think you'd leave us behind the eight ball like that. Seven kids. One of them's got to be a girl yet. Yes, I, I think it was seven. You think? Oh, Ma, you ought to keep track of things like that. Well, there we are, gal, right over yonder. Mrs. Murphy, look. Uh, here we are. What in the world would the likes of that be? A uh, rake or a buffalo beetle, no? Hey, all right, Judy. <laughs> Well, get out from under my feet, you young mavericks. Get. <laughs> well, how do you do, ma'am? Uh, you reckon you could tell us the whereabouts of the trail leading to the McGinnis outfit? Who's the McGinnis? Yes, ma'am, a widow woman with oh, quite a tolerable size herd of youngins. Well, that Molly McGinnis lives up there at third floor north, but she ain't got no herd of nothing. Oh? Well, Pappy, I reckon we've been following a dead trail. Oh, I don't reckon so. Well, thank you, ma'am, but... We'll just mosey on up there and find out for us. Go away, Gilly! Me pistols and bullets you got to play yet? You, you, you schlump me, you... I'll just take this shooting iron before that young maverick goes plumb loco. Come on, Judy. Do you see what I see? Uncle Pete. I was afraid you'd say that. These foreigners, huh? Can't even speak English. What are you gonna do, Mom? I'm going to tell him the whole truth. Can't do that and make a liar out of Pop. Well... Look, anything Pop got you into, I can get you out of. You always said I was a chip off the old blockhead, didn't you? Yes. Well, bring on your Uncle Pete. Uh-oh. You don't have to bring him on. He's here. Oh, uh, I beg 
your pardon, stranger, but is Mrs. Molly McGinnis anywhere hereabouts? Yeah, she's right thereabouts. Pete Monahan. Molly! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Well, 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 let me look at you. Oh, you haven't changed a bit in 20 years. Ah, uh, go along with you, Pete Monaghan. You haven't changed yourself, but you're a bit wider. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on in. I'm beginning to feel a draft. Well, thank you very kindly. Oh, I'm from forgetting all about my oh. little Judy. Oh. Come on over here, Judy. Judy, this is your Aunt Molly McGinnis. Well, howdy, Aunt Molly. <laughs> Well, now, Judy, you look just like your good-looking father. Oh, <laughs> oh, and this is my boy, Ethelbert. Well, hi, Ethelbert. Hi. Hey. I'm your Uncle Pete from Texas. Yeah, I get it, Dad. I pegged you when you rode up. Ah, and this is my little gal, Judy. Hi, Ethelbert. Oh, not bad. That is, uh, I wasn't bad. I reckon I'm right glad to meet you, Ethelbert. Look, if we're going to get along, you better call me Muggs. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, won't you sit down? You must be tired after your long ride. Thank you, Molly. You didn't ride all the way from Texas, did Oh, you? shucks, no. We shipped our horses on my special car. Just thought we'd give you New Yorkers a treat, that's all. Don't suppose you ever see any horse flesh around here anymore, do you? Leastwise, not a good one. <laughs> well, they are getting kind of scarce. <laughs> Won't be long now with everybody running out of their race cards. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> well, come on, let's sit down. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> sit down, Mom. Molly, where's the rest of you youngins? And where's little Annabelle? See, I want Judy to meet her kind of special life. Uh, Annabelle? Oh, yes, Annabelle. Well, uh, how long are you going to be in New York, Unc? Oh, quite a spell, I reckon. See, I promised to show Judy here all the sights. Statue of Liberty, Grant's tomb, or that big radio center outfit. <laughs> and Judy here liked a fellow for a horse looking up at that big building. Well, Pappy, I never did. No, <laughs> yes, you did, Judy. I uh, guess that would be kind of tough on your equilibrium and all that sort of thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Well, come on, Molly. Round up the rest of your herd and look them over. Well, uh, I... Uh, yeah, they're uh, uh, working. Uh, uh, yeah, they're working. That's what they're doing. They're working in a defense plant. Little Annabelle working, too? Well, Annabelle, she's, uh, she, she's a riveter. Yeah, you know. Oh, it's murder river all day long. Riches, that's plum patriotic of her. <laughs> you must be mighty proud of her, Molly. Mighty proud. Yep. <laughs> Don't know what Mom would do without him. Mm, well, I ain't done so bad back home myself, Molly. I own the second biggest ranch in Texas, don't I? You sure do. <laughs> and while we're here, we just made up our mind to show you all the rip snortness time you ever did see, Molly. You, you know, I, I, I don't think it's quite right. Nah, nah, Molly. <laughs> don't you worry about nothing. Money ain't no object. But there's plenty of thousand dollars back home there still running around on four feet, so you just take it easy. Well, I guess Judy and me will mosey along back toward the hotel. Come along, Judy. It's been right good seeing you again, Molly. Oh, uh, you too, Ethelbert. Yeah, so long, Uncle Pete. We're putting up the Park Central Plaza Hotel if you want to reach us, but uh, we'll be seeing each other pretty pronto now. And when we do, we're sure going to have big doings, ain't we, Judy? We sure are. <laughs> well, come along, Judy. <laughs> well, adios, amigos. Hasta la vista. Uh, same to you and many of them. Don't get your spurs caught in those holes in the carpet, Unc. There you are. We got away with it, didn't we? Well, but they're going to be in town for weeks. Oh, don't be detrimental, Ma. Just take one day at a time. Everything's jake so far. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll make sure they're leaving. that done this. Hey, Young, put that hardware away. Where is he, I say? Show me. Young, I'll put those rods away, will you? Yeah, but look what some varmint's done. He done stole my saddle. Oh, nobody stole them. They just borrowed them, that's all. Oh, do you know who it was? No, not exactly, but I'll straighten the whole thing out. Oh, all right, Ethelbert, if you say so. Look, Unc, 
Muggs. Muggs is the name. I just said so. I'll straighten everything out. Now, get those mules and get back to the hotel, will you? All right. Fine, I get a cop will come around here and there'll be a lot of confusion. I never I... had anything like this happen to me before, though. No, well, you know, New York's a big town. So yeah, come on, Judy. Come York. on, let's go. Now, watch those red lights or you'll get a ticket. Boy, this is murder. Hey, Ma! I'll be late for supper! Don't worry, Mugs. I'll be right behind you. How far behind me? Hi, ho, sir! Which I have to Bang, bang! Forget me, Tonto. Stay on, I'll get you there. Just as I thought. Hey, Silver! Hey! Bang, bang! Go on, my boys! So you stole my uncle's saddles, huh? Well, that takes care of the first part of the situation. The second part is a little more congestive. Yeah, who we got to fight now? We don't got to fight nobody. We got to lick a delicate situation. Gee, I never fought one of them before. You don't fight them. You illuminate them by the process of inductions. Uh, you what? Well, I'll explain it to you. You take all the illuminations on this side and the inductions on this side. Then you mix them all up. When you get all through, you get what is known as the, uh, you get the, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it now, yeah. Yeah, I thought you'd get it. My mother needs a big family. Seven kids. And one of them's got to be a girl. What? What's more, she needs them by tomorrow. Hey, that's awful short notice. We ain't waiting for the stock to bring these kids. This is an urgent case. Well, tell me, how are you going to get around that? Simple. And the moving pickers, when they need kids, they got kids. That's how we're going to get them. The only part that bothers me is the girls. Girls always bother me. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You ain't gonna count me in on this, are you? I got an angle. We found you on a doorstep under a couple of bottles of milk, so we retopped you. That's just a minor detail. Question is, which one of you will love be my sister? Your sister? My sister, yeah. S I S T A. Eeny, meeny, miny, flimpy. What's the matter with you? You going to say me being a girl? It's not such a thing of being a girl, it's a predicament. I quit the club, I'm going home. You're not my leader no more. I give my life for you. But being a girl, that's out of the question, I'm telling you. I quit. Turn around, sister dear. I want to give you the once-over. Now, wait a minute. This is not only embarrassing, but it's very humiliating. We're not going to get away with it. Shut up, or I'll smear your lipstick, beast. Jack Benny got away with it in Charlie's aunt, didn't he? Yeah, but this is a different story. Well, this is Muggsy's uncle. Hey, not bad. Muggsy's uncle, Charlie's aunt. Pretty good, huh? No. Turn around. Do you see what I see? Oh, we're running my stocking. The pants. The pants. Didn't I tell you to take them off? I did, but it was too drafted that way. You want me to catch them on you? I'll take them off now. Be in front of everybody? Stop. You're embarrassing me, eh, Benny? Roll them up. Take it. You're just the wrong G. Never did nothing right in your whole life. <laughs> uh, very close things. They're murder, ain't they, lady? Make with the rush. She looks beautiful. Hold this hunk of leather. Now, you keep those up, you understand? Take my arm. Well, if it ain't Georgie the Chip. What are you doing in here? I was going to ask you the same thing. I didn't know you allowed rats in a swell joint like this. Why, you look. Oh, and I'll lay you like a rug. Yes, madam. What's going on here? Ah, uh, nothing that would interest you. As far as you're concerned, uh, the next time I'm you... afraid I have to ask you to leave. You have no business here. Oh, I have no business here, huh? No, I don't think so. 
Well, does Miss Monahan, the multi, 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 multi millionaire from Texas, happen to live here? Yes, Mr. Monahan is staying here. Well, that's our business. Mr. Monahan happens to be my uncle. In fact, he happens to be all of our uncles, including Scruno. I hope to tell you he is. But get off high horse before I make him fight his hotel just so I can fire you. Come on, Garcian. Make with the room service. Tell my uncle we're waiting for him. Well, come on, don't be out of lesson. I'll report you to the janitor. Uh, Mr. Monaghan's room, please. Well, now that they've overcome that obstacle, I'll get back to you. What was you saying before we were so crudely interrupted? What are you guys up to? We ain't up to nothing. Uh, we're just trying to see our uncle. Yeah, he's got a barrel of dough. Yeah, he owns a whole state of Texas. Yeah, the whole state. Wimpy. Get out of there. Hey, what is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's none of your business. And if you open your kisser, I'll kick your teeth in. Yeah, both of them. Uh, right away, sir. I beg your pardon, but Mr. Monaghan would like you to go right to his suite. Beg your pardon? And let that be a lesson to you. I'm very sorry, sir. It's all right, it's all right. Just remember, my good man, never judge a book by its cover, unless you've read it. Quite so, sir. Uh, this way, please. Excuse me. That a material. I don't know what's on your mind. Remember, those teeth will be pretty hard to swallow. Twelve forty-two. Watch out with that saddle. Uh, Judy, your Aunt Molly's herd's on the way up. Fine, Pappy. I sure am wanting to meet that little Annabelle. Yeah, I sure want you two gals now to be the best of friends. You betcha. Well, I reckon I'll go in and frizz up my hair a little. All right. Twelve forty-two. Twelve forty-two. There it is. Now I'll do all the talking. Remember that. You mugs are just in on a pass. First guy that steps out of line gets a dent in the skull. Chief, remember you're just in on a pass. First guy. What did I do? I didn't do nothing. But. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Get one thing to your thick skull. Keep your skirts down and your voice up. Oh, hi, Uncle Pete. Well, hi, Ethelbert. Well, come on in, cousin. Hey, take a will. Well, well, just fine. <laughs> well, we brought your saddles back, just like I said. Yeah, so you did. So you did. Thank you very much, Ethelbert. Pete. I want you to meet the McGinnis family. McGinnis family, I want you to meet your Uncle Pete from Texas. Say hello, fellas. Hi, Hi Uncle. Hi, fellas. Hello, Uncle Pete. Uh, Hi, y'all. Oh, well, uh, he ain't really one of the family. We found him on a doorstep, so we adopted him. Well, <laughs> thought he looked like a stray from some other herd. <laughs> well, fellas, I... Well, well. So this is little Annabelle, huh? Yes, it's me, but not very little, though. Why, gal, you're just a spitting image of your ma when she was your age. Well, come on over here, Annabelle, and give your old Uncle Pete a great big hug and kiss. You heard what your uncle said, Annabelle. Yes, but I don't want to... Oh, I'll mess my lipstick. I don't want to. Please don't make me kiss him. Oh, come on, gal. I would hurt you. Oh, fool. Don't, do, don't make me do it all. You know, Mama, I'm, I'm, I'm bashful, you know. I'm, I'm afraid she is a little bashful, Uncle. You know, she's not used to too many boys and that stuff. We kind of keep her in tow. Yes. Mm. Annabelle, make with the kiss. Sister. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the matter? Your mustache tickles. <laughs> Say, you're a big gal, ain't you? Yes, big for my eyes. <laughs> well, bust my britches. I plumb forgot about my own little Mary. Come on over here, Judy. I want you to meet your cousins. Hi, your cousin Ethelbert. How are you? Hey, it's Judy. Uh, beat the boys. Howdy, boys. Please, how, how are you? Uh, black <laughs> girl. Oh, how, how are you? Hi, uh, hello, boys. Uh, and this is little Annabelle. Why, cousin Annabelle. Boy, am I glad to meet you. Boy, am I glad to meet you. 
Well, why didn't you Ma come along? Oh, she was busy, Uncle Pete. Today's wash day. She oh. was up to rubbos and dirty shirts. That's too bad. Well, Pappy, if you don't mind, I think me and Annabelle's are going on to my room. Oh, no, let's stay out here with the fellas. Oh, no, no, you two go on in there. Besides, I want to have a talk with the boys. Go on, show her your ropes, Judy. Oh, I don't need anybody to show me the ropes. Don't be stubborn, Annabelle. Oh, I don't want to go. Oh, sure, oh, come, no, on. come on. please. Oh, oh. my goodness. You sure are husky for a city gal, ain't you? Well, you know, like I was telling you, she works in the shipyards, builds up your muscles. I thought I was pretty strong. Come on, Cousin Annabelle. Oh, pretty better. Boy, that sure is a great bunch of brothers you've got out there. Yes, aren't they? Just sit down a minute, honey. I want to fresh up a bit. Yes. I'll declare if you don't get dirty in this here city, seems like all I do is take a bath, no matter what day it is. Well, I'll only be a minute. Oh, uh, well, you're not going to take a bath now, are you? Oh, no, I'm just going to fresh up a mite. Oh, would you like to play with my lariat? Your what? My lariat. Slide right over there on the table. Oh, yes, thank you. Careful you don't hog tie yourself. Yes, sir. Well, you're a mighty fine looking bunch of youngsters. Your ma must be mighty proud of y'all. Oh, she is, I hope. You know, I've got a good notion to take the whole caboodle of you back to the ranch in Texas with me. In Texas? Yes, sir. Greatest place in the world. Got 10,000 head of cattle there. Just sold 1,000 head to the army. What do you do with the rest of the cow after you sell the head? Huh? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> it is? He enjoyed it. <laughs> I got to remember that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah you got to remember that one. <laughs> sure, it's a pretty little dress you got there. Oh, it's, it's nothing. Bet you nice, too, don't it? Yes. <laughs> uh, Pappy promised to buy me some city clothes while I was down here. Sure would like it if you'd come along and help me pick them out. Who, me? Well, sure, why not? Oh, uh, oh, I wouldn't know where to go. Anyway, everything costs like, like, like the Dickens. Oh, sakes, don't worry about that. Pappy just got piles of money. Well, come on, Annabelle, let's go right now. Can I take you, Larry? Put it in your holy Indian. That's the way Make it well, the cowboy. Uh, Happy me and Annabelle's going shopping. Well, fine, gal, fine. Oh, no, I don't think I can go. Well, why not? I gotta help Mama with supper. Besides, you gotta be at the shipyards at 8 o'clock. Shipyards? Oh, yes, shipyard. Reese Riverton, you know. Uh, work. Oh, well, we got plenty of time. Come on, Annabelle. Oh, I sure we have. Besides, you all and your ma are gonna have supper with us. Now, come on, oh, get going, everybody. Know. Give me my hat oh, there. So come good. on, now, you young well, mavericks. Get out okay, of here. Young. Come along here. Your come on, boy, gal. Come on, 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 How about cashing me a check for her? Oh, about a thousand dollars. Certainly, Mr. Monahan. Yeah, see. But I make it two thousand more, yes. May want to go out a little while tonight. Yes. Listen, one peep out of you, and I'll have to wear them pretty long this year, ain't they? They don't care how they wear them. What do you mean? Get a load of fancy pants. You ain't seen nothing, get it? Uh, Annabelle, we gotta make a phone call. I don't wanna make a phone call. Don't argue with your brother, Annabelle. We gotta make a phone call. Please. Times when you strain my nerves. Pardon me, lady. Get in there. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Mm. Hey, Judy. Better see how far you can make that go, mm -hmm. eh? Thank you, Pappy. Where's Annabelle? Oh, she's a telephone, but she'll be back here pronto. Oh, yeah. Get out of there. I demand you apologize. I apologize? Thank you. Well, youngsters, we'll bust the town wide open. What do you say, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you are. Well, you two fillies better shake a leg now. You can shake both your legs now. Are we going alone, just the two of us? 
Sure, you don't want none of the men folks around when you're buying them little silkies, do you? <laughs> I don't reckon so, Pappy. <laughs> Besides, we fellas got something we want to do. Now, you two, go along, go along with you. Okay, come on, Annabelle. <laughs> Very chic, no? That is the latest style. It is so new, it ain't out yet, believe me. <laughs> well, bust my bitches if that ain't a rip snorter. Yes, but you look awful funny wearing it on a horse. On a horse? <laughs> Silly. <laughs> look again, Randy Bell, here comes some more. Sure is soft and silky. Come on over here and feel it, Annabella. Oh, oh come on. Mm. I wonder, ma'am, if we could try some of these sure things on. Me, we mademoiselle, absolutely. It's a pleasure. Well, come on, Annabella. Let's go see how we look at these sure things. Who, me? Oh, who, Pete? Well, sure, Pappy said to get you some things, too. Oh, no. They left me right out of the shipyard if I wore those. I just wear overalls. You go ahead. Well, okay. Which way are we going, ma'am? This way, Mademoiselle Simbouclet. I put. Oh, who said that? Oh, there must be a man in there somewhere. Where is hiding? That boy must be under here somewhere. Oh, get it out of there. Well, how a look, Annabelle. <laughs> Oh, poop, they slay me. <laughs> yeah, I reckon they do look sort of funny, don't they? <laughs> what kind of boots should I wear with this outfit, ma'am? We have some very chic sandals. Sandals? What do you reckon I am, eh, Rand? <laughs> you better call off Buffalo Bill while I wise up my mom. Zoom. right now, Ma, but just act natural like nothing happened and maybe it won't. And whatever you do, don't think. Well, Molly, here we are. Me and these youngins of yours sure have been having a time, oh, haven't we? Sure oh, have. <laughs> we sure have, Uncle Pete. Molly, Judy and little Annabelle get home yet? Uh, little Annabelle? Uh, uh, sure. Annabelle, you know, Ma. No, Unc, I guess they was delayed or maybe they're just buying out the store. Oh, uh, uh. You ought to see the nice studs we got, Ma. Hey, go on, boy. Show you more what you got. You're doing fine, Ma. Just keep it up. And that suit there, like I was poured into it, it fits like a glove. Hey, fellas, show Ma what Uncle Pete bought you. Take a look at yeah. that, Ma. Oh, boy. Show sure. it. It fits, too, man. Hi, Aunt Molly. Hello, Ma. Uh, this is Annabelle. I mean, uh, Annabelle's back already, Ma. Show Ma what you got, Annabelle. Oh, I got a beautiful fur coat with fur and everything on it. Oh, it's beautiful. She bought it for me today. And here's a little surprise for you, too, ain't Molly? Yeah, uh, Ma. Ma, get out of that FOG. Here's a surprise for you. Big yeah. package. Hold that. Don't open it till Christmas. Don't you save it. And, and boy, boy, that... I bet I you, you got like a lot of things Mama. there. I hope you like it. Well, Molly, you and me will mosey along back toward the hotel. Now, I'll tell you what. You and these young'uns all get ready and meet us there in about an hour, and we'll go out and have supper together. And then we'll take in some of those there nightclubs. Oh, really, Pete? I don't think that's that a we very inveigling uh -huh. idea, Uncle, and I appreciate everything you've done for us. Well, well that's it. fine, fine. Don't mention it. There's nothing too good for the McGinnis outfit. You eh? say thanks, to Uncle <laughs> Pete, boys. Yeah, yeah thanks. All right, thanks. Thanks. All right come on, Judy. Well, Pat, old timer, you've done all right for yourself. Yes, sir. You've sure done all right. Well, adios, muchachos. Hasta luego. Uh, mucho gesundheit. Ha <laughs> ha, same to you, sir. Come along, Judy. Goodbye, don't forget, about an hour now. Be expecting you. Well, Mrs. McGee, how does it feel to be the mother of seven? A fine bunch of rascals you are, all of you. And me own the worst of the lot. Muggs McGinnis, I don't know what to do with you. You certainly are a chip, chip off, off the, the old, old blockhead. 
Bust my britches. Did you afraid you'd catch cold, gal? Is he kidding? Oh, he's not kidding. Where he comes from, they wear steer hides all summer long. What on earth do you suppose that is? Well, he's from deep in the heart of... And gold-plated, too. Get out here and see this. Uh, yes, monsieur. Uh, table. Have you a reservation? What do you think I am, an Indian? <laughs> That's a good one. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> Save your wind, Uncle. I got a million gags like that. Come on, make with a ringside table for the governor of Texas. Yes, Mr. Governor, yes. Uh, he indeed. ain't the governor. He's the governor. He's the guy that's paying a check. Oh, this way, Mr. Governor. Have a seat. Bring me one of those camp chairs, will you? Thanks, bud. Uh, what will it be, gentlemen? Oh, I think I'll have a little bourbon. Kentucky bourbon, sir. Oh, I'm very sorry, but you're not allowed to serve liquor with minors at a table. Oh, well, never mind me. Just bring these young mavericks anything they want and bring it in double doses, even if you have to go out and get it. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Better put this away for your old age. Oh, thank you very much. Take good care of us now. Monsieur. Oh, I'm not going to stay long. I'm just going to have dinner, a little touch or two. Why, Muggs, that's your sister. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so it is. Hey, fellas, look. look that's pretty good dancing, isn't it, eh? Excuse me a minute, sugar, while I stake out a gold mine. Won't be a minute. Well, oh, hello, fellas. I thought I detected a funny odor around here. Hello, Annabelle. How's your mother, honey? Very well, thank you. Am scray, I'm Chey. Uh, drag up a chair and sit down, stranger. Any friend of Muggs is welcome. Thank you, sir. I'm George Mooney. Well, that's a good old Irish name. My name's Pete. Pete Monahan. Here's my little gal, Judy. Very happy to meet you, Miss Monahan. Uh, would you care to dance, Miss Monahan? Why, I... Yes, she would, but this one happens to be mine. Pardon me. I'll show you an example of some Turpestrian artist that's done in New York. Now just follow me closely and lay that thing down. This is the way it goes. Oh, we might be when I was in the valley. That mud dances out of this world, doesn't he? I wish he would. How about you, Annabelle? You and me. Want to get your toes tromped on? Oh, uh, Uncle Pete, I don't dance so good. <laughs> well, that'll be two of a kind. Oh, come you, on. <laughs> oh, you're such a silly boy. <laughs> oh, come on, let me go. Now, wait. Oh. One, two. <laughs> hey, look, Junior, you better scram while you're still in one piece. Well be seeing you. I don't like the way he said that. According to Muggsy, he owns half the state of Texas. Should be easy pickings. Thanks, George. Oh, don't thank me. Just give me my regular cut off the top. Right? Right. That mink coat we saw on the avenue the other day? Uh-huh. Well, Sugar, you got one arm in it already. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Judy, 
Pretty snorty, eh? Oh, I'll say, Pappy. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it lacks a little finesse, if you know what I mean. Sit down and listen to this. Yeah, but these kids gotta go to work, especially Annabelle. You know, she's a riveter. Yeah, yeah let's get away. out of here. My feet are killing me. Yes, see, I'm even getting hot. I could do with a little shot on myself, Happy. All right, I reckon you're nothing but a bunch of tender feet out. We'll call it a day, huh? Waiter. Waiter. Wait <laughs> Wait I guess we'll call it a day. Get yourself a couple of war bottles. Oh, eh? thanks you very much. Let's see, meal for one. It was a fresh empty. Come on, young student. Let's go home, everybody. Okay, <laughs> let's go. The antelope is hurt. Oh, are we there? Yeah. Well, now listen, youngsters. Don't forget. Hey, shorty, Billy the Kid will pay the check. Now get him out of here before he wakes up the whole neighborhood. I'll see you fellas at the club at 11 o'clock sharp. What do you mean, 11 o'clock? I gotta go back there now and change these. All right, but if you hock that coat, don't forget to cut us in. What do you mean, hock it? I'm barbecuing it tomorrow night. <laughs> Good night, boss. Good night. Hello, sweetheart. What's the hurry? Good morning, Miss Monahan. Good morning, Mr. Uh, mm. Mr. Uh, Mooney, George Mooney. Oh, yes, Mr. Mooney. How are you, Governor? Good morning, sir. It was quite a party you had last night. Ah, uh, that was quite a shindig. Yeah, Muggs and his gang are great kids. Ah, uh, the McGinnises are all right, all seven of them. All seven of them? Yep. But there are only two McGinnises, Muggs and his mother. <laughs> Young man, I guess you don't know the McGinnis outfit very well. There's really eight of them, the Ma and the seven young mavericks that you saw out with us last night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I was spoiling a good joke, huh? Joke? Joke? Yeah. yeah. Those kids belong to Muggsy's gang, the East Side kids. They're not related to each other at all. What? <laughs> That's right. You know, I could hardly keep a straight face when I saw Glimpy in that blonde wig. Glimpy? Yeah. He was the one you were calling, uh, Annabelle. Young man, where I come from, there's only one thing worse than a liar, and that's a horse thief. You don't think I'm lying to you? I don't know, but I'm certainly aiming to find out. You come along with us. Okay. Hey, Muff, Muff, Muff. Ah, but me, can't you see I'm reclining? Well, you better unrecline, cause things is happening. What things? I don't know, but Danny Skinny and Dave and all the folks is down at your house. 
Are you jiving, man? Man, I ain't jiving a pound. Well, wind me up and set the alarm. Hey, it's my old man there. I didn't see him. Let's go. And so when they started it, they had to finish it. Now, don't you see? Well, keeping him out till 4 o'clock in the morning don't suit me at all. It's disgraceful, deceitful. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Father O'Toole should hear about this. Oh, well, let's not have any hard feelings about the thing. No, but I know, but that is not All right, wait a minute. They said, wait a minute. I don't care what you're doing. They don't mean to be fresh or sass my elders or anything like that. But nobody's going to holler at my mom. In the first place, this was my idea. Not my mother's. Not the gang's, but mine. And if anybody's going to take a licking for it, it's going to be me. Won't be my first licking, and probably won't be my last. Now, this is going to be a private affair, and don't call for no spectators. You wait right here. Come on, Judy. My father was the greatest guy in the world. And if he said he had seven kids, he had seven kids. Even if he didn't, that was just a stroke of fate. But before I'd make a liar out of him, I'd take a beating from every one of you. Go ahead, the line forms on the right. Start in. You look like the most irritated. Take a few whacks at me. Uh-oh. Looks like Friday the 13th. Come in, Peter, won't you? No, thank you, Molly. I don't aim on being made a fool out of more than once. Oh, but Uncle Pete, As I... Here, you can forget that you ever had an Uncle Peter. Let's go, Judy. That's oh, all right, Ma. I don't feel that way. Now, you see what you've done? I hope you're happy. Oh, Ma. Pop was tough. And I'm tough. You said so yourself many a time. You don't want to be the only softy in the family. Well? Well, we won't discuss the matter any further. Come on, Judy. So that's the angle, huh? Well, goodbye, Mr. Monahan. One, two, Anyhow, my aim is still good. Hello. No, Mr. Monahan ain't in, but this here's his daughter. Oh, yeah, why, sure, send him right up. Go right up, please, number 1242. Thanks, Shorty, we know the number. Mind you, once more, this is my rap. You slugs are just along for the ride, get it? Right. Oh, hi. Hello. Can we come in? Well, sure, come on in. Hi. Hello. We come to give these duds back. Is Uncle Pete around? Well, no, and, and I'm worried because he ain't been home all night. Well, when's the last time you've seen him? She was, I reckon it must have been about 10 o'clock. He went off with that Mr. Mooney. George Mooney? Yeah, he said something about taking Pappy for a ride. Taking him for a ride? Yeah, that's what he said. That don't sound kosher to me. Hey, someone's on the phone. Hello? Yes? Well, yeah, send him right up. That was the man down in the lobby. He said Mr. Mooney was down there, but he didn't say nothing about Pappy. I wonder if there's anything wrong. Is Mooney coming up? Yeah. There's something fishy about this, especially if Georgie's mixed up in it. Look, don't you tell me we was up here. We're going to hide in the next room. When you find out what was in his mind, you come in and tell us. You understand? Yeah, but gee whiz, I'm afraid something will go wrong. Don't worry about nothing. Georgie steps out of line, I'll come in and conk him. Okay, Mind, Chief. Fellas.
Hello, Miss Monahan. Oh, hello. Come in. Thanks. Where's Pappy? Well, that's what I came to tell you about. Well, there isn't anything happened to him, is there? Oh, don't worry about it. He, he just met up with a little accident. An accident? Is he hurt? Is he hurt bad? Oh, it's nothing serious. Please sent me to get you. You hear that? That clinches it. Oh, you're sure he isn't hurt? Sure, don't worry. Well, where is he? Well, come on, downtown. Let's go. All right. Uh, maybe I'd better get my hat first. That's the corniest gag in the world. Had whiskers on it when I was going to kindergarten. Well, what do you mean? It's just a racket. It's the same old frame-up. You mean there ain't no accident? Certainly not. That's just part of the act. Where are you going? I'm going to get my gun. That's where I'm a-going. This ain't Texas, baby. No, but I just get Listen, through. you put on your hat and go with that bloke and leave the rest to me. Dirty, ornery skunk. I second the motion, but you just do like I say. Yeah, all right. What does that door lead? To the hall. Okay, you give us time to get downstairs. And don't let that slug know that you're wise to him. Okay. Stuck behind that tree there. Here they come. I thought I told you to duck. Guys, right over here. Get going, Danny. Right. Wait a minute. You got a nickel? No. Hey, Cliffy. Chief. Give me that nickel you found yesterday. I only got four cents. I bought a piece of gum. Well, give it to him. Not that gum, not four cents. Phone me here as soon as you find out. Right. Come on, we better hang around that phone. Hey, Charlie, I'm expecting a call. The name is McGinnis, Muggs McGinnis. We'll be Very sitting good. right over there. Very good, sir. Come on, fellas. Sit down, you're making me nervous. Something you want, sir? Yes, take that bell and put it away. Oh, you never let me enjoy myself. Want to enjoy yourself, huh? Well, go ahead, enjoy yourself. Stranger, where I come from, they skin critters like you alive. And that's what I'm going to do to you if it's the last thing I ever do. So help me, Sam Houston. Maybe your daughter's health ain't worth that much to you. What, you hungry low-down coyote, you? You're getting a little rough, aren't you, partner? Hey, wait. What in the world kind of place is this? Oh, it's a hospital. This is the back entrance. Come on. Just a little modern highway robbery, that's all. Uh, yes, sir. Just a moment, please. Um. Call for Mr. McGinnis. Call for Mr. McGinnis. Call for Mr. McGinnis. Ah, call him yourself. Call for Mr. McGinnis. Hey, that's a familiar name. That is. McGinnis. McGinnis. Hey, that's me. Hey, Mrs. Bellboy. What Telephone, is that? sir. Where, where? Right over there. Well, I'll give you a tip. Get out of this racket. Hello? Hello? Well, oh, come on, make the connection. This is a critical moment. Hello, Muggs. This is Danny. Yeah, that's fine. Well, where are you? 
Grab some tools and write this down. 684 West 9th Street. 684 West 9th Street. Yeah, just off 11th Avenue. Hey, Mugs, you better bring some help. It looks like, it looks like... It looks like what? Hey, Danny. Danny, where are you? Something must happen to him. You got that number? Yeah, 684 West 9th Street. All right, let's land. Benny, Skinny Dave, take off. Okay. Where you going? I don't know. I see on you I got to make a depression. I got to tell you personally. Excuse, Excuse us. us. What? And get murdered? You tell him I declare the truce personally just for today. Yes, General. Screw no. Yeah. You come with me for luck. Yeah, you'll need it. I mean, you mean you ain't met with no accident? Not yet. And maybe he won't either. He'll tell us where he keeps his bankroll. Well, that's easy. He don't keep it at all. I keep it. And it's right in here. Come on, Tappy. We're getting out of here. Double G, hold the back. Oh, just a minute, sister. You're liable to get hurt with this pistol here, Williams. That'll be all of that. I didn't phone this address to somebody. That'll bring the cops. Yeah, then it'll only bring you rat. Why, you little... and I'll show these cow pokes a thing or two. <laughs> oh. You ain't wrecking yourself. Hey, you be careful there, Ethelbert. Take it easy. Oh, no, no, no. He's on the rush out of the subway. Well, if he rides that first time, he's going to... Oh, he's getting on. I can't look at him. He's getting on. He's getting on. Oh, he's getting on. Oh, I reckon he busted his britches. <laughs> 